Hey guys, Alex here. Just got off 8531. That's a 2015 Nova LFS on the 905 bus. Just got out of it, took it from, uh, well, if you've been watching my past few videos, you should probably get an idea of, uh, of where I go. And probably the sweater as well. Well, I'll talk about that <laughs> in a bit. So yeah, we're here at the intersection of Eglinton Avenue East and Danforth Road here in Scarborough, Toronto. Of course, Scarborough is the east is the uh, eastern borough, or rather, <laughs> it, it occupies the eastern end of the city. And uh, Danforth Road. Don't get it confused with Danforth Avenue, but Danforth Road is basically a diagonal stretch that becomes McCowan Road or merges with it once it hits Lawrence. And also coming up ahead is Brimley Road. It's another beautiful sunny day today. It was like 9 degrees when I left home earlier today. And now it's like 17. Fall is coming in like less than 10 days. As I've been saying, chilly temperatures, balmy weather. And of course the leaves are going to change color. Obvious thing. So I haven't done a walking video along Eglinton Avenue East in a while, especially this part. This neighborhood is actually is is actually called Eglinton East. So uh, how ironic. So I'm on the north side here. The last time I did a walking video for this part, it was back on Halloween last year, and it was like a it was like a Sunday uh, early evening. And I wanted to revisit this place and uh, walk west. There's a 116 Morningside route. This uh, part of Eglinton has a lot of uh, ethnic strip plazas and small sized businesses. It's a very typical thing here in Scarborough, that's for sure. So it's on uh, the south side. Let me cross over. To the uh, to the south side here, I can show you guys. Also, fun fact: Eglinton Avenue is actually the the uh, only street in Toronto to pass all six boroughs, east to west. Basically, crosses a. Uh, Crisscrosses through the, uh, the center of the city, which is like Midtown Toronto, something like that. Quite unique, eh? You guys have been pretty proud that I've lived near Eglinton all my life, and, that, and the fact that we were getting a brand new rapid transit line. So the red pavement that you guys saw. I think you guys can like kind of see it. Very nice view. So the red pavement over there, those are recently painted uh, uh, priority lanes because this is the uh, this is one of the busiest uh, corridors. So part of as part of Rapid TO, the city and TDC, they decided to uh, install bus priority lanes. Lanes. <laughs> Why did I say like that? And uh, one of the routes for 905, which I, which I just got off, goes to University of Toronto Scarborough campus. And of course, this corridor has heavy usage of uh, different bus routes as well. Again, look at all the ethnicity in this uh, plaza here. As I mentioned before, Scarborough is very diverse. Actually, one of the most diverse places here in Canada. Look at this. This van here must have been. Oh my god, it's freaking gutted. Holy shit. Oh, that bus is busy on the 116. There's a 21 Brimley. What the hell happened here? Did it get like gutted or something? Freaking strange. Did I notice? Was this shit even here when I passed it on the bus this morning? Ugh. 
Anyway, it is Thursday, September 15th, 2022, and it's 11 p.m. As I just mentioned, balmy day outside, very sunny. Of course, which I always love. We've been getting a lot of sunny days lately. The only day we had rain was like Tuesday. But other than that, perfect weather to be going out for a walk and of course filming a video. As I was saying about the, uh, the, the uh, priority lanes, they've been a big uh, thing in terms of uh, improving like bus corridors and the frequency of the networks. So it was like two years ago that they installed it here along Eglinton, Kingston Road and uh, Morningside Avenue. And I think they're going to extend the, the priority lanes here at some point. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see me, but uh, I am rocking a University of Toronto sweatshirt. Again, if you've been watching my videos, you probably may uh, know which campus I go to now. Or at least this might give you an idea. As we're coming up to the wider drive. Mostly it's Middle uh, Eastern here. There's some Arabic writing. It's very neat around this area. The diversity in it. This is the, this is basically like the melting pot because you, you got like people of different backgrounds and cultures. This is what Scarborough is about. What's interesting is that the uh, Michelin Guide um, Toronto's first Michelin Guide, it was released and it revealed that most of the restaurants were centered around the Yorkville area and parts of Old Toronto and left Scarborough like completely, okay, almost completely left out. There's another 905 bus. The only place that made it to the Michelin list was a uh, Montreal smoke meat restaurant up at Steele's and uh, Middlefield Road. And after looking at the article on blocks, he's like, okay, I gotta try this. I really gotta try this. I'm just gonna get a thumbnail moment, but let's see here. Let's see what we can do here. That's the best I can do. Unless when I edit this video, I can just take a, a, a screenshot of it from my editing software. I could try that. And I, and I always edit it on uh, Adobe Express, which in my opinion is my recommendation for uh, making thumbnails for YouTube videos. I like the font and style, even though it's kind of repetitive. And the amount of colors you can create. Okay, this is another, okay, I think it's another good chance here. What route is this on? Let's see here. On the 12A Kingston Road. That's what, that was my mom's old uh, route when she lived at uh, Warden, actually no, Kingston Road in Birchmount. Well, sort of near Warden. Oh my, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of like a little bit upset at myself because I did say I was going to try and grab a thumbnail right in front of the, uh, the Athenic Plaza and then my mind got carried away. Oh. There's definitely no shortage of Caribbean restaurants here too, like this one here on the north side. of his place, T-Bones. Probably got some great uh, burgers and steaks. 
holy hell, another 905. Not even busy. I don't know why every time I hop up a 905, my my spot is always taken. Even though where I got on, it's like near the it was like the near the end of the route. What what used to be here? This looked like a. I think it used to be a fast food restaurant. It is. Look at the inside. I'm not gonna go up close though because that's called trespassing. You guys can let me know what used to be here, but I can always research for myself, go on Google Street View, of course, and be replaced by freaking apartments. But I do know what used to be here on the northeast corner of Midland and Eglinton. So this used to be a uh, small, uh, another small plaza, but it had a Tim Hortons, I think, something else there. I can't remember, but there definitely was a Tim Hortons. And last time I did my walking video through here, the Tim's was there, and... Uh, they were just about ready to uh, demolish it. So, this might be a construction, I think this is a construction site according to those signs for the uh, Line 2 subway extension, or as Metrolux calls it, the Scarborough subway extension. Now, I forgot to mention, so as you guys know, Metrolux and TGC, they're building the uh, Eglinton LRT line, which will go as far as Kennedy, which is up ahead, well, in a few minutes, I mean the, uh, the station, and they're discussing plans to potentially extend the line to UTSC, but that might not, but that may not be for a while. Also, in their uh, service plan, they outlined that uh, they might make the. Uh, Eastern Extension, a standalone line, calling it Line 7, because of our rea uh, reliability concerns and and uh, the benefits of, uh, of cost-effective measures. So here is Midland Avenue. I, I would have crossed over to the north side, but on the south side, there's some great skyline views. All right, so up ahead over the bridge is Kennedy Station. It's a major transit hub for uh, subway and commuter rail and buses, of course. Kennedy is the terminus and interchange station of both Line 2 Bloor Danforth and Line 3 Scarborough RT. As I mentioned, the Scarborough RT is a unique rapid transit line that's auto that has a uh, light metro um, gauge and it'll be closing next year okay never mind that's an old notice that should have been taken down it's a dollar ammo here but of course Kennedy station will be a terminus for the Eglinton line as well in fact for only a very short period It'll be the first station to be interchanged to three transit lines. Of course, next year is most likely when Line 5 will finally open. Also the same year, the Scarborough RT will come to its end. So also, around the area, it's been a construction disaster. I remember they had to close down the, uh, the uh, bus terminal for a while to, uh, you know, do typical construction work. Or also, I think they also built a, a new entrance, which you'll see in a bit. Not only that, they've also been renovating Kennedy Go Station on the uh, Stovo line. As we're going up, up, up. People around here, obviously it's very convenient because you got so many options to choose from. You can go to Scarborough Town Center, you can go to downtown. You got two ways to go downtown. Again, you can take the subway or you can just take the GO train. Only one stop to Union. 
we're gonna be doing some camera zoom action when we reach the top. the bus I was on yes it was yes it is making its return to the Highland Creek neighborhood and there's Don Montgomery Recreation Center and of course Kennedy Station oh so that's a second entrance there but on the uh, on this side of the tracks All right, of course, all the entrances to pretty much every single Line 5 station that's underground looks basically the same. But it comes in different shapes and sizes. So that might be a positive. There's the Scarborough RT. It was notorious in a few ways for its random uh, shutdowns back in the 80s. And of course in the 2010s it was brought up as a uh, discussion or debate of discussion of uh, whether to replace with the subway or light rail or whatever uh, form of transportation. Look at that view heading east. However, this station is not really pedestrian friendly. So because that means I'm gonna have to take an extra eight minute walk on a Transway Crescent or Candy Road. Well, I plan to end this at Candy anyway. I don't have to enter the station through there. But of course, they're building one right here and over there. But look what you can see up ahead. That's right. That is so right. There's downtown over there. There's one blur east. And of course, you gotta zoom into the west. Look at that, you can even see a... Uh, holy hell, that's an LRT vehicle! Over there! See why the zoom is amazing? Heading east, right here to Kennedy. Oh my god. I wish I was closer. That looks like Ironview Station. And then after that, it just uh, dips down underground. I know. I've been waiting here too long, but uh, let me check to see if there's an RT train coming. The Mark 1. No, I don't see one. Oh my god. I wish I was closer to capture that. Oh my god. But the thing is though, every time I, I come out to try looking for them, it just fails. The only, like, I've never, like, caught it while on the street before. It's only from, like, the bus. You guys may saw my video from, uh, Monday when I caught a, well, I was filming a bus ride and decided to add a little clip in. told me when she was living in Scarborough, she told me that Kennedy Station was a place for for group fights and people to take drugs and also and also smoke. Of course, she wasn't one of those those idiots who did that. But I think that was a normal thing back then in TTC stations, you know, going, meeting up with friends, going to Scarborough Town Center. Of course, we call it STC. Oh, uh, look at that. It's diving down into the underground. And there's Young and Eglinton out there. 
Say, I wonder if, if uh, it's going to reverse and head west since Kennedy is, of course, the terminus of this line. And, of course, they did some repaving to the road and the sidewalks. Looks very well built and clean, of course. And there's the, and there's the uh, second entrance to the station. When I came here on Monday, I took the 34 bus because I wanted to film a ride on it, so I took it from here all the way to Eglinton Station. But that's the last time I'm doing that because it obviously takes much longer than the subway. So I'm going to be hopping on that pretty soon. That bus is short turning. Unfortunately, no RT sighting. Typically, the RT runs every six to seven minutes because it's the second shortest line in the system. It's not at all. It's not. It's not like used very often, even though it's been getting busier in recent months. But the thing is, though, some people don't even know that uh, the RT is closing down next year. And here we are, coming up to uh, Kennedy Road. Question is, will I be able to catch that LRT diving out of the tunnel? Good thing is, I can easily just walk to the station from that corner because over there, I don't think that's, that's, that is no entrance again to the station. It's just very misleading. Good job, TTC, for not caring about pedestrian safety. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching, as always. Especially those that watch my walking videos and of course you guys can uh, subscribe for more videos like these. I am 20 steps away from 1,000. Get me up there. But as of now, I don't have anything special planned. You know, university stuff. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Check them out as well. There's the street sign, of course. Always got to zoom in on that. As, as you know, it's the main focus of the video. So, guys, take care. All the best. Stay safe. And, uh, I guess, uh, see you in the next one. Alright, folks. Peace out. Bye-bye. Adios.